there's not many jobs that you get to try and break into places day in day out legally is there did you know that like when you grow up you can be breaking into banks and stealing helicopters and kidnapping people and stealing millions of pounds and you're not going to go to jail for it it's like what how is that even a job <laughs> do you know people ask me that all the time what is cyber what is cyber oh wow <laughs> I don't know that. You can't ask me that. The hacker stereotype. Sweaty teenage boys in hoodies in basements. Don't wash very often. Old fashioned sort of, you know, robots. Doctor, look out! Cybermen! Just green text splurting up with lots of ones and zeros coming down. Like Elon Musk, I guess. Oh, man. It's not like that, it's just normal. Anything with an internet connection or a button is cyber. Every job, in every role, in every sector, has cyber security within it. It's all true. We're getting just a realm of connectivity now. Your entire life is shaped around using the internet and using devices. Technology can be used for good and for bad, and um, it's important that we look after our information and our technology, and I guess cyber and cyber security is a, a way of doing that. Cheltenham has such a strong position in terms of cybersecurity on the global stage. And the amount of uh, growth and jobs created in the sector here is just amazing. Cheltenham is booming. We've got so many exciting projects and schemes going on. What Cyber Centre will do, it will act as a focal point, but I think it will provide a platform for people and organisations to really get into this industry. No day is the same. Every day you will read um, that there's been a new attack, a new vulnerability. Come in and we get assigned a job and they say, can you hack us please? We'll be basically going into companies and find out what vulnerabilities that they have. I hack into banks and steal millions. I've gotten the opportunity to develop things for robotics, for AI. We make ageing technology. You look so old! Basically software that shows how you can look as you get older. We started Security Queens because you were three women in security. We wanted to teach other people about things and I mean I've learned tons since starting the blog. This year we won the best new up and coming cybersecurity blog in Europe. I physically go into uh, buildings and break into them in very much the same way that criminals would. Great fun, I use the same tools and techniques, so I pick locks and I, I sort of climb down lift shafts. We're now looking into machine learning and artificial intelligence. And of course we have plenty of people who aren't doing hacking, who aren't doing coding, who are working like me with people. So there's absolutely loads of roles in security. I know some very talented people that they don't, they don't code per se, but they still work in the industry and they still know much more than me. Companies um, need people that can do marketing, um, that can do social media. You've got people doing the psychological side of it. To running systems, to HR and the people side. I mean, there's, there's everything. You could go on and on and on. There are so many roles that every industry needs, including cybersecurity, that requires a really, really broad skill set. Very quickly, I soon learned that actually people are very central to cybersecurity. What we do can change people's lives. I love helping people. I like helping people to be the best that they can be. So whether that's doing it for organisations or for individuals, that's kind of where I like to sit within cybersecurity. So if you've got that urge inside of you, then that could be a career for you. Think about the amount of information that is at our fingertips on the internet. And what do we look for? Pictures of cats. We have more information than anybody has in history. What are we going to do with it? To me, cyber means opportunities. Salaries are high. Um, Demand for people is high. There aren't enough people coming into the industry at the moment to be able to, to feed that demand. So we need people to fill that gap. I think before, a lot of young people would have been overlooked because we're lacking like experience or wisdom in a certain field. But, but now it's more like normal to see younger people 
being in like higher positions. Young people have lots of creative ideas and they offer new opportunities uh, with these new ideas. Young people probably have the advantage over me in that they constantly on their phones, they're gaming, they, they know how to think in a digital way. So I think the transition into a digital career is not going to be a huge jump. So what we want from young people is really their perspective. What the stereotype in cybersecurity fails to take account of is how diverse the industry is. No, I'm not wearing a hoodie. I'm wearing a brightly coloured dress, lots of makeup. I love jewellery. People are accepting people more for who they are and understanding diversity. I think girls just think it's more for boys because they see the amount of boys that are doing it. But when I joined the industry, I actually found out it was much more diverse than I thought. It's a really welcoming industry. There really is space for everyone. For example, someone with dyslexia previously they might have been told that actually you're not going to be very successful, but that's bonkers because they can, they can do this. And the people who I know who are dyslexic or on the autistic spectrum are like some of the best people we have. The background that people come from doesn't necessarily stop you going into any one of the job type job roles in cybersecurity. Concentrate on getting good maths and English grades and everything else really is up to whatever you enjoy. Stereotypically and traditionally if you have a STEM background it will help you get into cybersecurity but I also know a lot of people that don't have a STEM background and if you show that you have that passion to learn for the subject I think employers value that more than anything. I never went to university. I've got a, a background in art. I used to be a veterinary surgeon. I actually really wanted to be a weather girl. I didn't get the results I thought I would get. But I found my niche and I ran with it. And it hasn't stopped me from running a digital technology business. It's important not to let confidence hold you back. And if someone says that you can't do something because of what you're good at or you're a girl or anything like that, like don't be put off. We're seeing a world where somebody can sit down, become an expert in their subject, you know, in, in the privacy of their own home, you can access all of this information. If you're interested in it, chase it down, you know, you can make that part of your future. There are so many websites and free courses that you can do, and even if it's just taking five minutes to just look into them and just try it. And then from that, I think you learn more things and you learn more about the job, and just overall, I think it's probably the best path to go down with that. It's such an interesting process of discovery. Not everyone wants to be in a city. For many people, they think about Gloucestershire as this beautiful place, countryside with rolling hills and the River Severn. But there's also this really buzzing cyber sector. Challenge Cyber Scene is a fantastic set of organisations that are really diverse. So whether you want to work for a small SME or whether you want to work for a larger organisation, there's that, there's, there's that choice around here. Gloucestershire has six times the national average of cyber companies and Cheltenham has 11 times the amount of cyber security companies, digital companies based here. That's huge. NCSC is the National Cyber Security Centre, so that's part of GCHQ and they've been in the local area for I think over 60 years, which is just incredible. Based between so many hubs, we've got you know, Heathrow's very close, Bristol's very close, Manchester's very close, so we can get anywhere in the world because we work globally and you can absolutely have a great job, great career, um, form a great business in this area just as much as you could if you were in London. So to be somewhere smaller that's very friendly but has lots of opportunities as well is, is perfect. In Cyber Central we want a 24-7 campus and we want you know, some of the large tech companies that are already in the area to, to be part of that. But also we want to make space for those that have maybe never been in business or are new to things. So it's got to be accessible for everybody. There's going to be like a, an ecosystem of not just jobs in cyber, but all the support services that need to go around that. So we want to create social space and leisure space. We're really keen to think about a visitor attraction and just sort of mixing it up a bit. It's a really exciting place to be and I don't think I'd want to be anywhere else. We need different skill sets. We need people that are creative, we need people that are mathematicians, we need people that are engineers, people that are scientists, but we need people that can think differently, that can connect with people, that understand the humanities. Whatever sorts of things interest you, you know, there's a, there's a role for you in innovation and that's only going to get more important in the future. It's just really great to give young people um, a career path and I think that's exactly what Cyber Central is going to offer. Getting into cyber or IT at the moment, I think you're set up for life. I think it's a bit of a no-brainer.
but you are the future. The future innovators, the future users of the innovation that's going on now. And if you're not involved with that, you don't really have a say in it. It's a really exciting industry, continuous change. This is a fantastic role to be in. It's a fantastic industry to be in and I cannot wait for everyone to come and join me because it's so brilliant.